So with one point perspective, uh, one trick that you can do is transfer horizontals and verticals throughout your page. So we'll start like always with a horizon line eye level. I'm going to take a perpendicular line that's at 90 degrees. This is gonna be our center line of vision. So now automatically we know that this is our vanishing point. So we've got horizon, we've got center, and we won't, we'll leave the cone out just for, uh, just for this because I want to show you how to um, make consistent um, boxes. So I'll just go like this. We'll make an arbitrary line. I would like to say this is, this is my first cube. And from here, it's going to be a trick with paper. So I'm gonna draw a line across. What I wanna do is I wanna take this height, because we can see the full face of the cube, I wanna take this height, I wanna transfer it down to the bottom. And now I have an absolute um, width for my one point. So I can transfer this up, I'll draw the top of it, and we have a full square. I'm just gonna translate these lines across. Now, what I wanted to show you is if we wanted to create equal diminishment, I'll take the piece of paper, I'll say, here's the width of my square. We'll add a little bit of breathing room in between. And so now that I've got this um, relationship, I can transfer it over, I can put a little dot, I can put another dot and I can move it over again. I can kind of duplicate these objects and now what I can show you is because we have this measurement, I'll just, I'll do it quick. I'll go like this. I'll line up my square with this. And I just want to march around and get, bam, bam. So if we were drawing a series of columns in a row and you wanted equal spacing, and it's all one point perspective, this would be a great way to do it. Um, so we've got three in a series, and now all I have to do is send um, my obliques back to the vanishing point. So real quick, send them back. So we've got all of our diminishment correct. And at this point, what I wanna do is determine the depth of my objects. So I will just say, here we go, here we go, here we go. So now how do we find these kind of unknown variables? Well, we know where the corners are and they absolutely have to track uh, perfectly vertical. So I know where these line up. First, I'll get the bottom situated. And because we're drawing volumetrically, we're gonna draw through. So we see all these invisible, otherwise invisible lines. And this is an excellent indication of what your center line of vision does, is you'll notice as objects travel uh, away from your center line of vision, they open up. Um, for example, directly on top of, it'll be flat, slightly to the right, and it'll hide that face. And as you travel farther, um, you'll see these different elements of the cube. So the last thing that I would do to this is go around, um, fill in the blanks with whatever lines you're missing. So mostly, Right now we're missing a couple verticals, so we just translate those down because we know what those are. Once I hit this corner where I know uh, the vertical converges with uh, the edge, I can just strike a horizontal line. And because they're all consistent and it's one point perspective, everything will line up. So now that I've got all of this, I can go back and find objects that I need to fill in. So I got a little squirreliness happening here. Bam. Bam. This 
got away from me a little bit, but I can always correct it. And what will happen is these lines will all converge. So if you need to figure out where one angle is, start with what you can see and work your way backwards. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of line weight for atmospheric perspective. Essentially, um, heavier lines, more contrast will be up front and uh, lighter lines indicate uh, receding into space. So I'll just do this real quick. Bam, bam. And then obviously you'll be doing this without a straight edge, but for my sake of brevity, I'll just move it right along. And then for the edges, we can just kind of add a slight transition, darker, closer up, let it fade out. Um, and so this will give it a sense of illusion. And there you go, you've got three consecutive objects. All right.